Thank you for tuning in to Standard Electric. My name is Brian Southern. I'm a process engineer and business development specialist with Standard Electric Engineering Group. Today we want to talk to you specifically about pumping applications using Snyder's Altavar 630 new process drive. Uh, the Snyder Altavar drive uh, is a recent uh, introduction and it's a migration and evolution from the previous Altavar series of drives that allowed you to handle multiple types of applications. This drive in particular has pre-built uh, monitoring and torque control for pump applications with a range of eight pump monitoring macros and five pre-built motor torque curves automatically built into the drive. You can simply select the type of application you have and the functions you want to use, which makes the ease of programming a tremendous time saver and cost reduction for you to implement the drive. One of the key things about working with Standard Electric is our ability to do application support, uh, working in partnership with Snyder Electric, but in spe specifically we have 30 engineers on staff and we have engineers that are specifically trained to support you and help you with your application needs in applying this technology. One of the other things that we want to look at is the various options that come with this new Altavar process drive. The new drive has built-in Ethernet capability as well as traditional Modbus capability. We also have a lot of communication options so we can communicate with this drive with any of your existing automation platforms using Profinet, Profibus, DeviceNet, CanOpen, all the major communication protocols are supported by this drive. The Altavar process drive really can serve all your application needs because the range on this drive is anywhere from one horsepower up to 800 horsepower with, with new ranges coming out every day. Another great feature of this drive is the new enhanced HMI functions. One of those key features is the ability to store all your programs, not just a couple, but 255 programs can be stored in this HMI and it allows you to back up the configuration, name it with a convention that is, is unique to that specific application. So I could name this, you know, rinse pump 27 or rinse pump in this part of my plant. So it's, it's intuitive to understanding where that backup is for. And that backup can be taken from this drive to another drive and you can, your maintenance and service and engineering group can have their own displays and back up all the applications, which then also allow you to interface directly to their PC-based software, which is a free download, and, and it enhances your ability to support and service this drive. As we talked, you know, this drive is really built to handle a lot of different pump applications. You know, why is that important? Why would you want to drive this specifically for your pump applications? Well, by using those features, uh, the advantage you get is that you're able to operate your pump with your electric motor at its optimal speed and torque. And that helps you to reduce the energy cost used to operate that particular pump and it saves you money. It also reduces the wear and tear on your mechanical systems because you're able to operate the pump in the right conditions. You can control the acceleration and deceleration of that pump and you can do a lot of things just to help reduce the wear and tear on all your mechanical systems. Again, saving you money for maintenance costs and improving the longevity of your motor applications. So let's, let's take a closer look at specifically, if we go into the HMI, we can see how easy it is by going into the configuration area. If we simply scroll to pump monitoring, we can see all these eight different macros that are pre-built. You know, we got pump cycle monitoring. We can do anti-jam, dry run, uh, pump low level, thermal monitoring. We have inlet and outlet pressure, high flow monitoring. All these are pre-built macros that allow us to apply this drive specifically for those pump applications. So as an example, let's take a look at the outlet pressure monitoring. So if we pick outlet pressure monitor, you can see Simply to set this up, we just got to know where's my outlet pressure monitoring coming from. It's coming from a sensor. So we probably have a pressure transducer that we hook up to the outlet side of the, of the pump. 
we tell it what analog input it's going to, and we give it an outlet an, an outlet minimum and maximum level. So what do we want to know? So with outlet pressure monitoring, one of the key things you're always looking for is, I don't want my pump to run dry. So if we're monitoring the outlet pressure, then we can determine if, if the water pressure gets below a certain level, then we turn off the pump. Or if it gets too high and we don't want to blow out lines that are attached to the system, we can monitor the high level. The other thing it can do is we can put a slight delay in so that we don't get nuisance trips. We can also tell it, what do I want to have happen when this happens? So in this application, we start up this motor and we're running at our optimal speed. We can simulate that pressure coming into the system. So if we go back into our main screen like we're operating, we can see that the pump's running at 32 hertz. Now, if we were to lose pressure or get too much of a pressure and it goes above that threshold, what we notice is the drive interprets that and says, hey, I'm operating outside of my range, trips the drive, tells you exactly what happened, and then you can diagnose the problem properly. It also protects the pump, protects your whole system, and reduces the cost of overall ownership of having a drive motor pump application. So let's talk about some of the other great features of the drive. So one of the things you'll notice with the I.O. system is that all the blocks are quick connect blocks. So for maintenance purposes, if you ever do have to replace a drive, all you simply do is pop these connectors off, put the new drive in and put them back in. There's not a lot of rewiring required. Additionally, things that are really cool about this drive is that the display is customizable. You can change what is up on the screen at any given time. What are the key parameters that are important for your operators to see or your maintenance guys when they go to look at the drive? Another great new product that Snyder released with the new process drive is the new HMI remote door mount system. This is a product that only uses a 22 millimeter hole to put the remote onto the door. And with the new PPE requirements and OSHA requirements for making sure that people don't get into cabinets with higher voltages, this has become a critical element in making sure the drive is serviceable and is usable. It's really easy to do, 22 millimeter hole. You plug a basic network cable into the back. You take the display that comes with the drive and plug it in and it gives you a remote access to the drive from outside the enclosure. This has been one application that we use and the pumping applications on the Altavar process drive. There are many applications that you can do with this technology, so please get with your standard electric account manager, business development specialist, or engineer and see how we can help you solve your application problems. Thank you and have a great day.